Hey guys, it's Ben here from the Strength Factory and this is the latest episode of Factory Knowledge. Now, literally last weekend I was at the Fort William Mountain Bike World Cup and this weekend it's a bit different. I'm working with my professional racing driver, Dino Zamparelli. I'm at the British GT Championships at Silverstone. It's a sunny morning and yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit different around here compared to the mountain biking. It's absolutely insane with the cars and the the whole setup and yeah the lorries and the pits it's it's absolutely amazing to be honest um, what I'm doing today is driver support so in my role as a performance coach uh, I do work with people on the day of the event uh, where my job today is to get the very best I can out of the two drivers Dino and then there's another driver racing with him because they take it in turns because it's a three-hour race his name's Chris and yeah, my role today is just to get the best out of them that I possibly can. So we start off, as always, we work on the basics. I'm working on nutrition and hydration, um, pre-race warm-ups, both visual, mental, and physical, and just doing anything I can to make sure that we get the best out of these drivers on the day. I'm gonna come back to you a bit later today and keep you posted. So first few jobs of the day are done. Uh, I've just come out of the garage because it's just too noisy in there to do anything like this. Because um, they're working on the car, getting it set up. And yeah, so there's a couple of things to bear in mind. Number one is, yeah, I've got my first things on my list done. The drivers know what they've got to eat and drink before they get in the car and drive. And we've got a timeline set up so that they've got time to digest as well. Uh, what I've gone for today is smoothies actually. So it's been Ben's smoothie bar this morning. Uh, I've done a high fat, high protein smoothie for the guys that they will both enjoy uh, eating. It will be easy for them to digest. It'll be quite nice and light, but it's also calorie dense and we've got a few things in there that will hopefully contribute to a good concentration for the drivers. Uh, they are now doing car setup and looking at the in-car footage and things like that. And as much as it fascinates me, it's times like this where as a good coach, I just need to step away, it's not my department, I need to let them crack on with doing what they do. And then later on, I step back in to do what I do. So yeah, I've got some downtime, drink some coffee, <laughs> look at the cars, and I'll be back in a bit and I'll let you know what I'm up to. So as you can probably hear, the racing has got started now and our first driver Chris is on track and yeah he's going well so what I did was is as always I worked through a timeline back from his start time and we just hit all the basics we made sure he was physically warm we did some visualization of the track uh, like basically driving a perfect lap in his head seeing all those braking points acceleration points apexes and how he's going to put that lap together we then uh, did some like, reaction drills as well. So we played a game of catch and a few other bits and bobs, uh, just to make sure that he's really mentally alert. Then it's that final bit, a little bit of positive talk, some breaths, run for a piss, always, helmet on, in the car, and now they're racing and it's, it's on the driver. Now in this format of racing, it's a three hour race with two drivers, and so they'll each do roughly uh, two 40 minute stints. Um, so Chris is out at the moment, and then in about half an hour from now, Dino's gonna get in and he's gonna drive. So that means in about 15 minutes, I'm gonna start getting Dino ready so that he's you know, peaking, so he's alert, so he's sharp, ready to get in that car and pick up where Chris has left off. So fingers crossed. So about halfway through the race now, and both drivers have done their first stint of driving, and now Chris is doing his second stint. Um, there's nothing much to report really, it's just about getting in that rhythm and routine where the driver gets out of the car, they're really hot, they've sweated a lot, you know, it's about 18 degrees Celsius here and then you've got your fireproof, fireproof uh, overalls on in the car, working hard, elevated heart rate for about 40 uh, minutes or so. And so all I'm trying to do is make sure that they first of all calm down, just like we reduce that level of stimulation, they breathe, they relax a little. Then they're in a state to take on some fluid, take on a snack, uh, and then they've got a little downtime, literally only about 10 minutes, where you can then talk to the team and things like that if they need to about how the car is going and about the strategy for the next part of the race. 
and then it all starts again and then I start to ramp them back up for that um, that next stint of driving where we want them getting in the car hydrated fed stimulated warm so they can go out there and give their very best effort so I'll be back at the end of the race hopefully you know it will go well and I'll let you know how this guy's gone cheers So I'm back home now and back in Bristol. I didn't get a chance to bang out the last video at the end of the race because once it finishes, everything is just being collapsed at a rate of knots. Now, as you may have seen from the last picture, yeah, the race is, well, it's a real shame. It's a racing thing, but 15 minutes from the end, uh, we got a puncture, um, which obviously costs a load of time. Got back in though, got a fresh wheel and tire on and went back out so the team finished the race but I think in the end we we're pretty much last uh, which sucks really after two hours 45 of you know pretty good work from the team so it's one of those things now all I want to do to round up now is just talk you through what we do after a race or event and this is the same process that I go through with anyone I'm working with when they can come back from a big event is we've got to review how it went so what went well what could be improved on, you know? And that's from the drivers. Um, hopefully they should go through this process with the broader team, so the mechanics and things like that. And it's also for me to do for myself. So what, what did I identify that the drivers could do better to improve their performance? And what could I do better next time to help me to help the drivers, okay? And I'm also asking the drivers for their feedback on me, because it was my first time doing this at a, you know, an endurance motorsport event like this. So all round, it's, yeah, like I said from the start, okay, it's, it's different to what I normally do, but the principles remain the same. To get the best out of the drivers, we just gotta get all the basics right. We need to take as many decisions away from them, take as much stress and pressure away from them. So all the driver has to do is get in the car and drive to the best of their ability. So hopefully you enjoyed uh, listening to something a little bit different from me. Um, and hopefully I'll be doing more stuff like this over the rest of the summer and over the coming years. Um, so if you've got any questions, drop them below and hit subscribe and I'll be back next week. Cheers.